afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this riveting and exciting episode of Pop with Jim and James live from the AGA Orlando. James, are you excited to be here at the Hydromax USA booth? I am. I, I am, am too. Excited to meet these guys. We have some awesome guests today. We're going to let y'all do the intros because we do. We'll, we'll screw that. Yep, we will. <laughs> I'll go ahead and start. My name is David Steiger, and I am the Vice President of Gas Operations at Hydromax USA. So uh, all of our gas teams across the United States, uh, watching them day to day. Thanks, uh, Mark Hongdon, uh, Vice President of New Product Development. Uh, I look after new products that have become available. That's one of the great things about being at AGA. All kinds of new products, new hardware, new software, new potential partners, all kinds of great stuff. My name is John Chavin. I'm the Senior Vice President of Sales and Business Development for Hydromax out of uh, beautiful Atlanta, Georgia area. Guys, it's AGA week. We've been waiting for it. Y'all are a big sponsor here. Got Huge big, big space. This is unbelievable. Thank Thanks for letting us be here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit of what it's been like being back here at AGA, being here, rubbing elbows with folks, just fellowship. What's it been like? Well, we're so excited to be here back in person and to see our old friends and colleagues. And for me, this event's always been about collaboration. So some of the best ideas are cooked up when we're able to get together and solve problems as an industry. And I think that I've seen a lot of that going on this week. We've heard that a lot. We've had a bunch of people over at the booth, uh, actually on the podcast, saying that same thing. Collaboration, collaboration. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, and with the pandemic, we haven't seen people in a long time. So there's people that we've been talking to for years that we never met in person. And now we get a chance to meet them. And so it's been, yeah, that collaboration, meeting with people, it's been great. Yeah. Done a lot of the webinars since the pandemic started. And there's a different environment when you get to actually go and have a Q&A after the technical presentation, talk to the presenter. So I really appreciate it being able to go back up. To the so for, for me, it's telling jokes. Like, <laughs> and nobody, nobody's there to laugh on the other end. They don't know if they I always say it must be what Jim feels like. Because nobody laughs my jokes anyway, so I'm go. used to it. You know, that's why I'm so shy, timid, and reserved. But anyways, we'll leave that alone right now. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's just pretend I'm walking right through the, the exhibit hall for the first time and I come across the Hydromax USA booth, and I walk in and I say, tell me a little bit about you or what's new in your world? What's, what's, what would you want to tell me if this is my first time in the booth? Yeah, great. Uh, well, we are still committed to our cross border leak survey programs, and uh, we're constantly trying to innovate to make sure that we can reduce risk across both of those uh, business lines for us. But the new thing for us has uh, been a project called Util Alert. Got a booth right behind uh, our camera here. Uh, Util Alert is a real time excavation monitoring system. So essentially, it goes on an excavator, and then it can warn the excavator operator if they're going to encroach on a high risk gas line in real time. Then it can also notify the dirt team at the utility. It can notify the owner of the excavator that they're digging near a high-risk asset. And so it gives kind of 360 real-time visibility to any potential risk. What a great safety measure. That's huge. That's phenomenal. And good shout out to GTI and OTD because it came out of a research project at GTI OTD. And uh, you know, they brought it to shout out. Uh, it's, yep. it's, its original form and we're taking it from there. That's great. Anything else you gentlemen want to add if I was a first-time person in the booth? Well, for us, it's all about digitalization of processes. Uh, you know, our, our founder had a, a difficult realization early on. What we do is too important to miss. Anything that we do, we have to do it right. We have to do it 100%. Okay. And so we started early on digitalizing all of our processes so we can track, trace, and analyze every step of every job we perform. And so our focus is, is very intense on that particular subject. Well, I know you're an environmental. You're going to jump on the environment. I, I say it a second ago. Yeah. So two things. I want to that, that tracing and trackability. Let's hit that in a few minutes because that's a very big hot button. But uh, speaking of hot buttons, you mentioned environmental sustainability, items like that. Bring us into that world that you're living in every day and what uh, Hydromax USA is doing about that. Well, other than safety, sustainability is really one of the core pillars that everything we do at Hydromax USA is built upon. Mm -hmm. Things are changing. You know, our industry, our natural gas industry, our, our license to operate is a guarantee, right? There's there's a lot of threats. Uh, we see constantly in the, in the papers and the, in the news that, that towns are, are eliminating the ability to install new natural gas service, both residential and commercial. We've got to be cleaner. We've got to be more sustainable. We've got to be more efficient. 
And so, uh, especially with ESG being such a hot topic right now, sustainable investing, even our bottom lines can be hit if we don't do the right thing when it comes to reducing fugitive emissions, reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So the entire Hydromax USA portfolio is kind of built around, again, safety and sustainability. David mentions our, our new focus now beyond cross bore inspections and leak survey, we're talking about damage prevention. Why? Right. What's that got to do with sustainability, right? Well, the EPA has recently uh, commented that, that up to 60% of all fugitive emissions come from diggings, damages. These super emitters are blowing gas everywhere. So we're going to try to figure out how to stop that with our customer partners. How can we eliminate those dig-ins together with solutions like real-time excavation monitoring and others? Um, yeah, sustainability, when we do leak survey, we're going to make sure that we don't miss any leaks, no leaks left behind. Again, we track, trace, and analyze every step of every job we perform. You see me like geeking out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like I, yeah. So my background before this was technology, so I know y'all are big on data, big on data collection, especially in that leak survey realm. Tell me a little bit about that, how white dollar bring to the industry in that sector. Yeah, that's a great question. You know, we go to great pains to make sure that when we collect data, we collect it in that digital format, right? We digitize that data. We use high-accuracy GPS. We, we take in, you know, methane measurements to every breadcrumb that we collect. We do that because once that data is collected, now you can do something with it. So it's actually on the screen behind you. When, you, when those leaks are found and you have that geospatial element to all your data, that's when the fun begins because now you can start to analyze that, right? You can do queries on your, on your GIS database and you can see – hey, where are those leaks? Do we have any trends? Uh, and do those trends correlate to an installation date, an installation method, uh, a material, whatever it is? Previously, all that data was hidden in stacks of paper maps. That's no longer the case. It's now right in front of you. And you can sort and peel that data wherever you want. So now that all that extra effort you made to collect that when you were out there bears fruit in a big way with, when you have tools like that. Dashboards you can really look at and analyze. It's powerful. Yeah. Uh, Data is super important, but on the back side of that data, I know we we hear a lot about AI, artificial intelligence. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Adrian. Yeah. And, uh, right it's now, part so. of the experience. Yeah. And, uh, but AI is very important. And it's something that, that is important. Y'all can y'all bring us in a little bit on that, especially Jim. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm a novice. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. yeah um, absolutely. So. Uh, I, I recently read a book with Peter Thiel, Zero to One, and he talked about valuable companies of the future are going to be companies that use computers to empower people to solve really hard problems. That's what Hydromax USA believes in. We have uh, machine learning algorithms that they don't replace the human element, but they make the human way more efficient at massive data set, you know, QC processes. So we use QC uh, algorithms to uh, enable with machine, uh, machine vision for cross border analysis no. and for the leak analysis because when the when the technician is walking and collecting parts per million breadcrumbs at every single point if they walk past something because they didn't hear the alarm that the announcer went off the car horn went off whatever. whatever it may have been now we can catch it programmatically and so that was what i was going to ask it. you know as, a, as an end user what do they see you know because ai seems like yeah. you know the black box behind the scenes that you don't really know yeah but the way it's translated to the user whoever that might be that's the knowledge, right exactly. how can you make them better as well I like yeah. to think of digital transformation in, in the terms of the four Ps. So I think in the next few years, everyone's going to be able to present. You're going to hear a lot of folks talk about breadcrumbs. We're going to present the first P. At Hydromax USA, we're really focused on the next three. We want to prescribe. We want to use machine learning. We want to use artificial intelligence to prescribe thoughtful follow-up actions, actionable insights, if you will. We want to predict. We want to find out what happens next. Uh, artificial intelligence needs to tell us, based on these models, what could happen if things continue on the way they are now. And finally, then the fourth and most important thing is prevent. We want to prevent incidents before they even have a chance damage of happening. Yep. That's We're fantastic. passionate about damage prevention. Our, we are. Our vision is to make the world a safer place to work. Yeah. And for us, that starts with damage prevention. Yeah. That's Guys, yeah. I, I'd like to wrap it up. I, I have one little, we usually do a, a, a funny question at the end. In this case, let's keep it AGA related. It's AGA week. It's AGA week, and we're here. We're here live. One word to describe your experience being here at AGA. Oh, can we play two? Yes, absolutely. Right, we'll bend now. the rules. Wow. One word to describe your week here. G-rated. 
<laughs> well, now you got that caveat in there. Oh, okay, one word. Um, illuminating. Oh, that was a good one. Wow. I'll, I'll stay on the I theme. I was going to say intriguing. Mm-hmm. I'm just intrigued by all the great solutions and tools that are out there that us and others bring to, you know, to help really help this industry. I like I like uh, things that are easy to remember because I forget a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the eye. Yeah, innovation. I got one too. Innovation. Oh, yeah. I usually buck the system, so <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with an F word. Easy out there, friends. This yeah, has amen. been a week of yeah. friends, and that's my word for the week. Oh, I know you're you were nervous. Yeah, uh, I'll go with inspired, and I was gonna say that before that's y'all went eyes. I'll I'll say walking around this hall, unlike other shows I've been to, it's like. We had two years off to really get our lives together and then put it out. And there's so much innovation and everything out there. And everyone's so proud of what they built over the last couple of years. I love seeing that this week. Yeah, absolutely. And I love being here with you. Absolutely. Thank you all for having us. Yeah, awesome thank you. Right thank here. you, gentlemen. And everybody that's behind the scenes, all oh, the Hydromax. Yeah, oh, they are out there. Thank you for making this happen. Until next time on Coffee with Jim and James, James and I want to say a special thank you to everybody. And as we always say, what do we say? Stay safe. So until next week. Thank Thank you. Thank you. you.